Let's look at an example that pointed to the hypocrisy of the Pharisees compared to the righteousness of a saint. The father, that's God. The one son is a Pharisee, and the other one is following Yeshua. But what do you think? A man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go, work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward he regretted it and went. Then he came to the second and said, Likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? Here we see that one of them did the will of his father in word and not in action. And the other one did the will of his father in action, but not in word. The person in conversation with Yeshua then answered this question rightly. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said to him, the first. Yeshua said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that tax collectors and harlots entered the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But tax collectors and harlots believed him. And when you saw it, you did not afterward relent and believe him. You see, that is faith in thought and action from Yeshua. He has faith that they saw the truth. He had faith in the power of the word of God. And he spoke rightly when he said, you saw it and you did not relent and believe. Therefore, judgment is on the Pharisees. That's more or less the end of this short video on faith. And I wondered if this part should go in here. This is a bit of a, a left hook in this side of the argument. It really drives it home. And I've decided that it should go in here. I wish people would spend more time reading their Bibles and allowing the Holy Spirit alone, single-heartedly, to guide them through their studies and through their life. But alas, we live in a world where that's just not the case. Here's the left hook. At the end of the age, when we all, every human being, comes before the Father, He's going to separate the lambs from the goats, the tares from the wheat, the chaff even from the wheat. And he's going to do this based on a pragmatic system of judgment. We're told that at the end of the age, when we go to Gehenna, death, or the promised land life, we will be judged based on our works. If your heart is not relenting and you're fighting against this in your mind and in your spirit, I implore you, I beg you, go to scripture and see if you can find anything that supports the arguments welling up in your mind. Live your life not based on what human beings are saying the Bible says. Go to your scripture and let the Holy Spirit lead you. And do not be afraid, but have faith and be strengthened in Adonai Yeshua, Hamashiach. He is worthy. He is strong enough. He is able. Let him be your God and grow 